Today we would like to acknowledge the history and traditions of those who have gone before us. We acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land, the Jara people. Aboriginal people have lived, held rituals and customs on this land for over 40,000 years and we acknowledge the culture, the people and elders past, present and emerging. As we mark Anzac Day, we remember all who lost their lives through Australia's involvement in wars, conflicts and peacekeeping operations. On Anzac Day, we especially remember the courageous actions undertaken by the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps during the First World War. On this National Day of Commemoration, we pray for the airmen, sailors and soldiers who died in battle, sacrificing their lives whilst on duty. We pray for the tens of millions who have been driven from their homelands because of war. May they find refuge, safety and a pathway to new life. We remember all families, parents and children who lost loved ones through war. May the light of God's hope and strength comfort them. Amen. I saw a king marching with medals on his chest. He marched alongside diggers, marching six abreast. He knew that it was Anzac Day. He walked along with pride. He did his best to keep step with the diggers by his side. And when the march was over, the kid was rather tired. A digger said, whose metal son, to which the kid replied, they belong to daddy, but he did not come back. He died up in New Guinea on a lonely jungle track. The kid looked rather sad then, and a tear came to his eye. The digger said, don't cry, my son, and I will tell you why. Your daddy marched with us today, all the blooming way. We diggers know that he was there. It's like that on Anzac Day. The kid looked rather puzzled and didn't understand. But the digger went on talking and started to wave his hand. For this great land we live in, there's a price we have to pay. For we all love fun and merriment in this country where we live. The price is that some soldier his precious life must give. For you to go to school, my lad, and worship God at will, someone had to pay the price, so the diggers paid the bill. Your daddy died for us, my son, for all things good and true. I wonder if you understand the things I've said to you. The kid looked up at the digger, just for a little while, and with a changed expression said, with a lovely smile, I know my dad marched here today. This is Anzac Day. I know he did, I know he did. All the bloom and way. During this time, we've all had to give up things we love. But what we're giving up is nothing compared to the sacrifices made by the Anzacs. Courage, selflessness, and resilience are some of the values the Anzacs showed that we as young people aim to incorporate into our daily lives. Anzac Day is an important reminder to be still and pay respect to those who served our nation. We are thankful not just today, but every day for the world we live in now. Anzac Day at Maris College Bendigo. This time last year, you might recall, those of you who were here, that we received the honour roll which represented the names of the 300 plus past students of Maris Brothers College who served in World War I. Right now, that memorial board has been done up, looks beautiful, and very soon will be back at Maris and installed at the college. When we think about that board, those students, past students of Maris Brothers College, wore the same badge that we wear. Now, those men have given their lives because they served and protected Australia. Soon, that memorial board, beautifully restored, will be up on the wall above me as we enter the Learning Commons. That will always remind us here at Maris the great sacrifice those men gave. They didn't know the phrase, but they certainly told us what they did with their wild and precious life. It should inspire each of us as Marists to answer that question, what am I going to do with my one wild and precious life?